reverent and attentive. Peace be with you. With you and your spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke. Glory to Christ our Lord. Peter said, Lord, are you telling this parable for us or for all? And the Lord Jesus said, Who then is the faithful and wise steward whom his master will set over his household to give them their portion of food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Truly, I tell you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that servant says to himself, my master is delayed in coming and begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants and to eat and drink and get drunk. The master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him and at an hour he does not know and will punish him and put him with the unfaithful. And the servant who knew his master's will but did not make ready or act according to his will shall receive a severe beating. But he who did not know and did what deserved the beating shall receive a light beating. Everyone to whom much is given, of him much will be required. And of him to, him to whom men commit much, they will demand the more. And glory to God forever. Glory, glory to Christ, Christ our Lord. So Jesus gives us this parable today of these two servants. And really, they are two ways that we can live our life. They are two ways that we can try to do the will of God in our lives. So there's one servant who does the will of his master. He follows God. He follows his master and does what his master wants without his master even being there, right? He just does it. He does the will of his master. And he's ready when the master comes to see what he's done, he's ready for his master to come and see his work. But then there is the other servant who knows that his master is very far away and decides to just eat, drink, get drunk, enjoy his time. And Jesus says that the master will come on a day that he does not know and the master will punish him and he will beat him. So I think we need to take this seriously in our lives. And the question we need to ask ourselves today is, how am I doing with trying to live out the will of God? How am I doing trying to live for the Lord? Our spiritual life isn't always easy. It's not always going to be easy, right? I think trying to live for the Lord and trying to walk in His way, I kind of compare it to driving on the west side, right? If you've ever driven on the west side, uh, you know it's very complicated. There are roads that go from 30 miles per hour to 40 miles per hour to 50 miles per hour, and then all of a sudden they put a roundabout in the middle of the road, right? It's difficult. It's hard. And that is our spiritual life sometimes, that our spiritual life is difficult. Our spiritual life is hard. And you think of yourself driving, right? When you see that cop in the distance, you press on your brakes right away, correct? Because you don't want to be caught. In the same way, we need to treat our spiritual life. We forget that God is always watching. God is always looking at us. And we forget that many times. We forget that God is always watching because there are sins that we would never commit in this church, right? You would never say a cuss word in the church. You would never do that because, oh, this is the house of God. This is his home. This is his church, and we have to be respectful. Well, my brothers and sisters, newsflash, you are the church. You are a temple of the Holy Spirit. When you receive the Eucharist, you literally become a tabernacle. And so just in the same way that you would not commit a sin at this altar, when you leave this church today, remind yourself of that. You become an altar. You become a church, and God is within us. And so let's try our best today to remember that, to remember that God is looking, God is watching, God is seeing us, and to try our best to follow him, even when we don't feel like doing so, even when the temptation is the hardest, to do it anyway, because he's looking, and he's waiting, 
and we don't know the hour that he will come and to take us from this life. Let's be prepared and let's prepare ourselves for that time in this Mass. Amen. Let us together entrust our souls to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever.